Seventh grade, open up resources, illustrative mathematics. Unit three, lesson nine, applying area of circles. Problem number one, a circle with a 12 inch diameter is folded in half and then folded in half again. What is the area of the resulting shape? The area of a circle equals the radius squared times pi. Since the diameter of this circle is 12, the radius would be six. So the area of this circle would be 6 squared times pi, which is approximately 113.04 inches squared. They said that this circle was folded in half and then folded in half again. That's equivalent to one-fourth of the original area. One-fourth of 113.04 equals approximately 28.26 inches squared. The area of the resulting shape would be approximately 28.26 inches squared. Problem number two, find the area of the shaded region. Express your answer in terms of pi. First, I'll find the area of the blue rectangle. Then I'll find the area of the three circular shapes inside and subtract the area of those circular shapes from the area of the rectangle. To find the area of the rectangle, I'm going to multiply the length times the width. The total length is 30 inches and the width is 18 inches. 30 times 18 equals 540. So the area of this rectangle would be 540 inches squared. We still need to subtract the area of the three circular shapes. Along the right side of the rectangle, you can see the diameter for each of the circles. Since the radius is half the diameter, the radius of the bottom circle would be 6 inches. 6 inches squared times pi equals 36 times pi, or 36 inches times pi. Here you can see I've done the same thing to the remaining circles. In terms of pi, the area of the smallest circle is 9 times pi, the medium circle is 20.25 times pi, and the area for the larger circle is 36 times pi. Add them up and their total area is approximately 65.25 times pi, inches squared, since we're talking about area. This represents the total area of all three circles and we need to subtract this from the area of the blue rectangle. In terms of pi, the area of the shaded region is 540 minus 65.25 pi inches squared. Problem number three from seventh grade unit three lesson eight. The face of a clock has a circumference of 63 inches. What is the area of the face of the clock? Remember, the diameter times pi equals the circumference. To find the area of a circle, we need to know its radius. First, let's figure out the diameter, and then we can cut the diameter in half, and we'll know the radius. We know that the circumference is 63 inches, so the diameter times pi equals 63 inches. Let's divide both sides by pi to get the diameter by itself. The diameter equals 63 inches divided by pi, or approximately 20.06 inches. That means that the radius of the face of the clock is half of 20.06 inches, or 10.03 inches. To help us find the area of the face of the clock, we can substitute the R with 10.03 inches. The area is 10.03 squared times pi. The area of the face of the clock is approximately 315.89 inches squared. Problem number four from seventh grade unit three, lesson seven. Which of these pairs of quantities are proportional to each other? For the quantities that are proportional, what is the constant of proportionality? A, radius and diameter of a circle. Yes, they're proportional. The radius is always half the diameter. The constant of proportionality is two or one half. B, radius and circumference of a circle. Yes, the circumference is two times pi times the radius. The constant of proportionality is two times pi or one over two times pi. C, radius and area of a circle. 
No, the radius and the area are not proportional. When graphed, it would not form a straight line. Therefore, there is no constant of proportionality. D. Diameter and circumference of a circle. Yes, they're proportional. The circumference is pi times the diameter, so the constant of proportionality is either pi or 1 over pi. Problem number 5 from 7th grade Unit 3 Lesson 6. Find the area of this shape in two different ways. First, let's make it into a rectangle because the area of a rectangle is length times width. 3 meters times 4 meters equals 12 meters squared. So the rectangle has an area of 12 meters squared. Don't forget, we need to subtract the area of the little triangle. And the area of a triangle is one half of the base times the height. This triangle has a base of 2 meters and a height of 2 meters. So half of 2 times 2. Since 2 times 2 is 4, half of that is 2. This triangle has an area of 2 meters squared. Now we need to subtract the area of the triangle from the area of the rectangle. 12 meters squared minus 2 meters squared equals 10 meters squared. The area of this shape is 10 meters squared. Now let's use a different strategy to find the area of this shape. This time I've divided the larger shape up into three different shapes. A larger rectangle on the bottom, a triangle on the top left, and a smaller rectangle on the top right. The area of the larger triangle is 3 meters times 2 meters, or 6 meters squared. The area of the smaller rectangle is 2 meters by 1 meter, or 2 meters squared. The area of the triangle is half the base times the height. The base is 2, the height is 2. Half of 2 times 2 is 2 meters squared. Now we need to add the area of all three shapes. 6 meters squared plus 2 meters squared plus 2 meters squared. The area of this shape is 10 meters squared. Problem number 6 from 7th grade Unit 2 Lesson 5. Elena and Jada both read at a constant rate, but Elena reads more slowly. For every 4 pages that Elena can read, Jada can read 5. A. Complete the table. Five pages that Jada can read divided by four pages that Elena reads shows that Jada reads 1.25 pages for every one page that Elena reads. We can multiply the number of pages that Elena reads by 1.25 to see how many pages Jada reads. And we can divide the number of pages Jada reads by 1.25 to see how many pages Elena reads. Elena reads four-fifths the amount of pages that Jada reads. So when Jada reads J pages, Elena reads four-fifths of J pages, or eight-tenths of the amount of pages Jada read. When Elena reads one page, Jada reads 1.25 pages. When Elena reads nine pages, Jada reads 11.25 pages. When Elena reads S number of pages, Jada reads 1.25 times S number of pages. And when Jada reads 15 pages, Elena reads 12 pages. When Jada reads J number of pages, Elena reads 4 fifths or 8 tenths of J number of pages. B. Here is an equation for the table. J equals 1.25E. What does the 1.25 mean? It means that Jada reads 1.25 pages for every one page that Elena reads. C. Write an equation for this relationship that starts E equals. That equation would be E equals 4 fifths J or E equals 0 0.8 J. That means that Elena reads 4 fifths of the pages Jada does or Elena reads 8 tenths the pages that Jada does. You can support my YouTube channel by subscribing and leaving a comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.